If you plan on visiting Lake Guatavita, it's likely you'll spend time in the small town of Guatavita. This town is easily accessible by bus from Bogotá Terminal del Norte, which is about a two-hour journey. Guatavita is also known as Guatavita La Nueva, meaning the new Guatavita. It's named this due to the original town being flooded in the 1960s following the construction of the Tomine Reservoir. This resulted in a new modern looking colonial town being constructed between 1964 and 1967, which is the Guatavita you'll find today. You will, however, still find the ruins of the original town at the bottom of the Tomine Reservoir. the night in Guatavita in a cool little place called Aviva Hostel. Here you can get a bed, food and drinks at a really reasonable price, plus the staff here are super friendly. To get to the lake from the town, you can catch a shared taxi ride from the main square, which is about a 30 minute drive. The region is associated with the indigenous Moisca people who allegedly use the lake for sacred rituals, including the inauguration and celebration of their new chief known as Azipa. This was later renamed by the Spanish conquistadors as El Dorado. Legend has it that the new chief would be covered in gold dust and gold jewelry. When the sunrise came, it would shimmer and shine off the gold covered Zipa. They would then float out into the lake on a ceremonial raft and jump into the waters, washing off all the gold. Worshippers would then throw various offerings of gold into the lake. 
some items of which have since been recovered from the bottom of the lake, adding weight to this claim. It's thought that when the Spanish conquistadors discovered the lake, they looted the water of the majority of its gold. So much so you will see a cut in the hill surrounding the lake, which was an attempt by the Spanish to drain the lake and recover the treasure. If you have time, we recommend you visit the Gold Museum in Bogota. Here you will find an artistic figure of El Dorado's raft made from gold. It's estimated that this piece was created between 600 and 1600 AD by the Moisca people. The figure was found in a cave in 1969 by two farmers and is now one of the main attractions at the museum. At the end of the hike, you will find a few shops and food stands to finish off the trip. We stopped and had some sausage with a wrapper before heading back to the town. We definitely recommend a trip to Guatavita in the lake. It was an enjoyable couple of days outside of the big city.